Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Today's video is one that I have been getting asked to do for quite a while. So a few months ago I made a video called the Indestructible Sledgehammer and in that video we shot this thing with pretty much every caliber that I had. Nowhere near as deep of a dent as I thought it would. All right, next up we have some green tip. Not even close. Smoked it. We have the 762 by 54R. Eight millimeter Mauser. Well, I completely laid it down that time, so. I assume I hit it. All right, well our 762 by 54R hit right there. You can see that fresh mark. Probably the most solid part of the entire hammer, uh, but really didn't do much more damage than the 556 or the 762 by 39. And then our eight millimeter Mauser definitely has the best result so far. I think we got up to like a 308 and even an eight millimeter Mauser in that video. And surprisingly, none of those calibers really did anything. So here's the hammer, you can see all that damage that we got. This is the side that we shot for the most part. I also put a couple on the face of the hammer there, and then of course I went low and missed it a couple times. But I mean, you can see there's some dents, but really nothing did that much damage. So at the end of that video, I told you guys that one of these days I was gonna get a 50 BMG. And when I did, we would bring the sledgehammer back out and see what the 50 cal does to it. And I'm happy to say today is that day. So the reason this took me so long to make is because I was trying to get armor piercing incendiary rounds for the 50 BMG. But it turns out where I live, those are not very easy to get. So today we're just gonna shoot it with regular 50s. And if we can get some armor piercing rounds down the road, then we'll obviously come back out and shoot it again. But the gun we're using to Today is obviously the Barrett M9950 BMG. I've had this thing for a couple months. Most of you guys have probably seen it by now. Just an absolute tank and easily the most powerful rifle that I own. So if the 50 cal doesn't get through this sledgehammer, which I don't think it's going to, then we can definitely call this thing indestructible because the 50 is about the most powerful rifle you can get. So let's see what it does. All right, so we got our sledgehammer propped up against this dead hollowed out tree right here. And you can see that this side is completely untouched. I haven't shot this side of the sledgehammer yet. So that's the part that I wanna shoot with the 50 so that we can see 100% of the damage that it does to this thing. Now this is a really small target and I'm gonna be way up there on top of that hill about 60 yards away. So hopefully we can hit it on the first one, but 50s are not typically like sub MOA precision sniper rifles at least most of them aren't but I have to be back at a safe distance shooting a steel sledgehammer with a 50 BMG so we'll see if we can hit it all right we're going with the regular old mil spec 50 BMG chances are you're probably not gonna be able to see it from this camera but I have a couple slow-mo cameras down there to capture it up close if I manage to hit this thing I think it's probably gonna knock the metal part right off the handle but we'll see such a small target Still standing. I'll go ahead and do one more. The fact that it's still standing makes me think I probably didn't hit it. I think it's gone now. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. It was standing up right there and I don't see it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Holy crap, dude, that thing went, I don't know, eight, 10 feet from where we shot it. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if we hit, we did. Wow. You guys, it barely dented that thing. Check that out. I mean, you can see that it, it clearly smoked it and put a perfect little dent in there, but that didn't dent it as bad as a couple of these did, like the eight millimeter Mauser and stuff like that. That's clearly a 50 BMG hit right there. And it did not dent that thing nearly as bad as I thought it would. What's awesome, and I hope the slow-mo will show us this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. 
um, is obviously the impact launched that thing 10 feet away from where it was at. You can see where our first one hit, right above. <laughs> That's clearly the first one that we missed. Obviously went just a little bit high. I gotta say, man, this surprised the crap out of me. I expected it to put a humongous dent in that sledgehammer and it didn't glance off. I mean, you can see that pinpoint mark where the bullet hit that thing. It definitely didn't like hit it at an angle and glance off. It was perfectly straight. That's a solid impact from a 50 BMG and it barely put a dent in that thing. So I guess we definitely need to get some armor piercing incendiary rounds. I think they would dent it quite a bit more. I don't think they're gonna go through though. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I really don't think they're gonna go all the way through. Maybe like a, a slap round or something like that might. Obviously I'm not gonna shoot those, but aside from some really special like armor piercing round, which an armor piercing incendiary is, you know, incredibly powerful and really hard to stop, but I don't know. I did not expect that from the 50 BMG. I thought that it would at least go a quarter or halfway into that thing. I love doing science. Man, that is a cool bullet impact though. I gotta say, even though it didn't dent it as much as I thought it would, it left a really cool mark. And you can see it took the finish completely off of that thing about an inch around where that bullet impacted. I would love to recover some of that bullet or some pieces or whatever's left. I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to, but What's this right here? That's hot. That is extremely hot. That is it, you guys. What in the world is that? I'm confused. What is this? Is that our bullet? Or is that a piece of the sledgehammer? This thing is extremely hot, so I know that this is either the bullet which is absolutely incredible if that thing stayed intact like that but it doesn't look like it's big enough to be a 50 unless it's like a boat tail and the back end of that bullet is smaller than 50 caliber because that's clearly it i mean look at the tip of that bullet that little bulge right there and then look at the mark on our sledgehammer it's so clearly a perfect match and that thing fits right on that sledgehammer where it impacted. It's just now cooling down enough to where I can hold it without burning my hand. That is freaking amazing. So that just goes to show that no matter how fast the bullet's going or how big the caliber is, steel will always defeat lead and it just barely put a tiny little dent in that thing and basically just flatten the bullet out like a pancake. But I'm freaking blown away. First of all, that I was even able to find this bullet. And second of all, that it looks like this and that it didn't break apart or fragment at all and completely stayed intact. What the heck? So after watching the slow-mo footage back, that hole that we put in the tree was not from the first shot. That one went like an inch to the right or the left and just barely missed. The second shot that actually hit the sledgehammer ricocheted something up and that's what put that little hole in the tree. So I thought that seemed unlikely even for a 50 to miss that bad. Like I said, they're not sub MOA precision rifles, but they're definitely better than five inch groups at 50 yards. So I thought that seemed kind of weird, but now it makes sense. All right, everybody, there you have it. The indestructible sledgehammer wins again. And for now it remains indestructible. We were not able to get through this thing today, but I did get a pretty cool souvenir out of the deal. And this is definitely coming home with me. So of course we will revisit this, maybe when I can get some armor piercing incendiary rounds or something a little bit harder, maybe with a steel core in it. And we'll shoot the sledgehammer with another 50 BMG and see if we can eventually get through this thing. But for now, it remains undefeated. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.